Yasas from the island of Paros. Sadly, we have made it to our final stop on our three week Greece extravaganza. We have had so much fun these past few weeks, but we are going to make the most of it on this island as we explore beaches and enjoy our little abode here where we can look out and see the waters. It has just been such a quiet oasis, but we're gonna take you along and get our day started. manual car again <laughs> when it's cheaper and you know how to drive I guess you go for it and he was saying that this one is way easier to drive than the one that we had on Crete yeah the one on Crete was like working against me the entire time but the scary part this time is that there's a cliff behind us <laughs> and this one I guess because it's a little bit newer just it feels so much easier yeah so it's been really great Today is actually our third day on Paros and for the past two days we've been waking up to the sound of the oceans because we've been sleeping with the balcony doors wide open and we've also been taking a midday swim in crystal clear waters and it really is what you'd imagine Greek island life to be like especially like how they portray in the movies or on YouTube or social media and so it's been quite the dream and I think today we're going to enjoy the waters a little bit more. In case you're wondering what beach we are at, we are at Columbithres and it is very otherworldly. It feels like it's a mix of Joshua Tree National Park if it was on the sea. Claire also described it as like a shipwreck beach, kind of like a amusement park in a way. But earlier Claire was actually chasing around the fish trying to poke them under the water and we were having the best time ever playing in what was it, the kelp? Usually people swim far far away from the kelp but we were having so much fun like playing with it. Yeah, floating around. <laughs> it's interesting because when you're moving your feet it moves all the kelp around and it feels like it's going in slow motion but then you're going at like full speed or hyper speed. So it's kind of fun. Obviously, I want to try that chocolate cake. So we are making the journey over from our Nausa home base over to this bakery and let's see if we can get a little taste. We have come later in the day and they only have the big chocolate cakes left or I guess they're technically chocolate pies. And so it's either we go big or go home. Shall we go big, Jack? I guess so. <laughs> All right. It's so big. Yeah, well, we got it. <laughs> Chad has put his little foot down and he said that we can't eat any chocolate cake till we get home. Aww. So I'm just over here longingly looking at my chocolate cake. <sighs> so sorry. I didn't realize how bad you wanted it. This is such an inconvenience for my stomach. <laughs> I hope you always be around. Even if I fail, you are like a summer breeze that I must inhale. Is it possible for us to feel this way forever? Loving you has never felt more right. Only and for you there is nothing 
which is, I guess, more expensive for us, at least, yeah. when we treat ourselves. So let's see if it was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most moist. Is it most moist or moistest? Both of them sound <laughs> wrong. <laughs> but man, look at it glisten. <gasps> All right, one for me, one for you. Equal sizes, Chad, this time. My bite is not bigger. Your bite was bigger than mine. Thank you, thank you. Cheers. Long awaited pie. Wow. wow. <laughs> it's like the most standard chocolate cake you can ever imagine, but it just tastes so good. It's so, it's almost like it's under baked. You know what I mean? Like that's what it tastes like. Yeah, the it's like kind of, it. kind of gooey. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm glad we got the whole cake. We'll definitely be eating it. That's worth a 30 minute drive. If you'd let me eat it earlier, we could be on our second slice now. It's true, but we can save it for tomorrow. No, tonight. That one's jealous. All right, bums, let's go. me is the ocean that we've been waking up to every single morning. We can hear it calling all throughout the night and actually for the past two days we've been coming here to swim. But tonight we are taking a quick stroll along the coast as we do a little bit of a beach cleanup and watch the sunset. Today is our final day of Greek island life, but also our final day in the country altogether. And I think the only way to finish up our time here is to go and explore some more beaches, but also to go and stroll some of their towns. So let's get the day started. Another windy day at the beach. We have made it to Kalogeros Beach, and this beach is known for having a very special clay that you can rub all over your skin, have yourself a free natural spa day. So unlike our time over in Pamukkale, Turkey, where I did not know what I was rubbing on my body, today we were actually rubbing something that is good, confirmed on our bodies, and I'm really excited. See, it breaks very easily. All you have to do is make it into a powder and then add water to it. Sufficiently dry. It's time to go in the water. I just completed the first round of my natural clay treatment, and my legs literally feel so, so soft. I literally dove into the water and I felt like I was reborn because going in I felt all dry with all of the stuff coming off of my skin. Once I was in the water, I just see this plume of smoke and my entire body feels like a dolphin now. Yeah, from elephant to dolphin. Yes. We feel really, really good. I think we actually need to just take advantage of this, go for a round two yes. of treatment. <laughs> and I'm gonna do my whole body this time. Basically, the combination of this clay and the seawater. Working wonders. Yeah. We can sit in the shade. Just pulled up to Golden Beach. 
beach in like its name. We are sitting on a strip of golden sand, picked up some gyros and some souvlaki. We're gonna have ourselves a little picnic. Yamas. Us to some delicious Greek food. We could sit in the shade. Here goes the mermaid out to sea. We spent the rest of our evening at Golden Beach swimming and snorkeling around, which is honestly our new favorite activity because you literally transport yourself into like this whole other world. I just love how the second you put on your goggles and you go underwater, you kind of forget about what's up on land and it's just really refreshing, very meditative. But we are going to head back to our Airbnb and then explore one final town. Just a five minute walk from our Airbnb is the small town of Nausa, and we will be sunset shopping for our ornament here. We have actually waited till the last moment to try to get one, so hopefully we find something that we like. Thank no you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good night. <laughs> what, an hour and a half later? <laughs> this one was hard to choose, but I'll show you what we got. ask about the Airbnb that we're staying at and we'll link it in the description box but it's the cutest place ever it's right near the waters as we told you we could hear the beach from our room which has been so great to wake up to to fall asleep to and also it came with so many touches of hospitality the hosts are amazing yeah, the sweetest really nice. people yeah it is time to reveal the ornament we've chosen for Greece mm -hmm. da, 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 da. It is the cutest little ceramic windmill and this is going to be a DIY ornament because the ones that were available for hanging just weren't that cute. No. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a clothespin and then we're going to glue it on top and then it will clip onto the tree <laughs> like so. I must say we were in someone's shop for probably an hour just yeah. looking at all the options he had. Mm -hmm. So he was very proud of us once we finally decided. Anyways, our time here in Greece has absolutely flown by, but it's amazing to think about how much we've done these past few weeks. Yeah. All the food we've had, the views we've seen, and the memories we've made. <laughs> <laughs> But with all of that said, if you want to follow along on the many memories ahead of us and as we travel to 50 countries around the world, then hit subscribe. And if you want to see behind the scenes exclusive content, tips, and more things, check out our Patreon page. And with that, we are going to be flying back to the USA to celebrate our birthdays. Yay. We are turning 24 very soon. Very exciting things. Anyhow, we'll catch you guys next time. Bye!